Were you surprised that you got in last night? I, I wasn't. They they called me in. Joe Madden called me into his office before the game and said, hey, we brought you up here for a reason. And, uh, you know, if we get a lead late, I plan to bring you in. Um, so I was ready to go. I was staying loose the whole game, uh, keeping my legs loose and keeping my arm loose uh, in the indoor batting cage and whatnot. And I was ready to go. And then my name finally got called on in the ninth inning. And, uh, you know, once I got in, I, I really wasn't even that nervous because of we had a three-run lead and all the pressure was on them. And I was just happy to be out there and finally can say that I made my major league debut, uh, <laughs> game 163. Uh, ironically, I think I was told I was the second person to ever do that in all of the history of baseball. So it's been a crazy past 24 hours, but, you know, I kind of, couldn't ask for a better setup in my life right now, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but here in Cleveland with the Tampa Bay Rays right now. So this is this is great. What's it like when you hear? I think the quote that I read from Madden was that you are the one of, if not one of the best defensive players in the game right now. Yeah, uh, to hear him say that is great because you know there's you get evaluated every day. It doesn't matter if you're in the minors or, or majors. You're always getting evaluated by someone and uh, you know he's read the scouting reports on me and that's kind of why Tampa Bay uh, you know called me up too because they're confident in my defensive abilities and I am too uh, defense is what I take a lot of pride in uh, my defense base run or my defense speed and my my arm will be there for me every day no matter what I'm not going to hit every game that's just how baseball is but for me I uh, I feel like I have just as good as ability defensively as anyone all the game and uh you know that's why that's why they're giving me a chance up here and they're they're letting me have my part in contributing late in the game and that's my role and i accept that and like i said i just i wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now this is just the the best situation for me and it's just so much fun what's the uh what's the situation from for you going on in because i know you know, in 163, that game is treated like a uh, regular season where they have expanded rosters at the end. They had, I think, 38 players uh, the Rays did on the active roster for yeah. that game, and they got to cut it down to 25 for the playoffs. So what what do you know if you're going to make that cut, or what's the situation with you? Is it? I don't think they can do well, it day by day. It's series by series. But Yeah. Um, I wasn't told anything today, but I heard some guys talking who are kind of the same situation as me saying that, we're all active for tomorrow, and once we, once tomorrow's over, whatever happens, um, then they would have to make the decision for the 25-man roster. But as far as I know, there's you're allowed to take a few more people, just like for the inactive list or something along them lines. I'm not really sure yet. I mean, we're just worried about tomorrow, but. As far as I know, I, I am active for tomorrow's game, but there's so many rules and regulations with baseball where it could, I mean, change right in a blink of an eye. So, I mean, I'm all new to this, too, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Pretty surreal for you, just the whole experience, because I think I read an article, it was like you were down in uh, Florida at, uh, you know, with extended workouts and uh, watching Breaking Bad, the season finale, yeah. which was a which was a heck of a season finale or series. Oh finale. my gosh, it was awesome. That was, that was that was awesome because I mean I was watching that finale and I was sad to see that show end, but at the same time, right like literally right when it ended, I got the call and uh, they said, "Hey, we're flying you down to to Texas tomorrow." And, I mean, I had that hour and 15 minutes of watching Breaking Bad, which was amazing. And then I had the whole night just to sit there and lay in my bed and just, you know, think to myself, wow, I'm, you know, I'm really going to the big leagues tomorrow and going to be a part of this playoff push. Uh, so, you know, ever since that, that Breaking Bad started at 9 o'clock on Sunday, it's been just, you know, one of the best, best stretches uh, of my life. And uh, it's just... Like, I mean, I guess I, I really don't – it sounds cliche just because, you know, it's a dream come true, but it really is. And uh, I've come a long way ever since, uh, you know, started my baseball career. And for me to be here right now with this team is just unbelievable. And, 
like I said, I just I want to see us make a playoff push and keep this ride going. What was it like being? Uh, this will be my final question. Uh, but yeah. what was it like being part of the uh, the dog pile there? You know, you're running up David Price, the Cy Young Award winner, Evan Longoria, all these guys, and you're like, yeah, I did it too. <laughs> yeah, it was it was nuts just to, to be in the same clubhouse, same dugout with those guys and put on the same uniform. Uh, you know, some of the big names: David Price, Evan Longoria. You know. Who know? I mean, the sky's the limit for those guys, and just to just to take the field with them is is such an honor. And uh, to celebrate the way we did was was great. And uh, you know, we plan on doing the same thing tomorrow night. So it's uh, it's been a fun ride, but you know, we're we're not stopping here, and uh, we plan for for big things come the next 24 hours and and on past that.